So picture this, you've run out of thermal paste and you're hungry. Well, let's find out if a $1 piece of chicken can solve your problem. Or better yet, can some Vegemite help cool that CPU down? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming back to you guys today with a very unusual video. This time we're going to be talking about thermal paste. And if you run out of your traditional thermal paste, that's your MX4, your Arctic Silver 5, or whatever you use, can you use something in the meantime to bridge that time between you waiting now and ordering something? So today we're going to go through the contestants, which are chicken, tomato sauce, mayonnaise, nothing, toothpaste, and then last up, Vegemite. And we're gonna compare all the temps and see which one scores the winner out of all these household other or miscellaneous items. So first up here, we have the 7-Eleven chicken, which costs around $1.50, and then we have a feed, and then we use that oil from that chicken to then put on the CPU cooler and see if it acts as a good thermal paste. And with this piece of chicken, we scored 60 degrees at four gigahertz on the 5820K at 1.12 volt at 17 degrees ambient temperatures. So the next batter up here is tomato sauce, and this will set you back around about one to two dollars depending on where you live. And I think I've got an 800 mil tube here, so a lot of this stuff lasted for a very long time. Putting that on the CPU, we managed to get 59 degrees at 18 degrees ambient temperatures. This is after 10 minutes of Ida 64 on full load there on the 5820K with the NMAX T40 might add. So tomato sauce definitely did pretty good, but again, those hygiene or long-term use with this, I'm not sure how that would play out. So the third contender in line here is the mayonnaise. Now we have heard stories about mayonnaise being good as a thermal paste. And I just decided again to try some generic stuff that I got from the supermarket. By the way, I do love my mayonnaise. And putting this on the CPU here, we managed to get 61 degrees at 18 degrees ambient temperatures there. So losing out against the tomato sauce, however, scoring a tie, a net with the chicken there, the oil. So mayonnaise, not too shabby. So the fourth contender we have up here now is nothing at all. A lot of people are saying, look, if you're doing a controlled test, you have to just test no thermal paste at all. So we just got bare metal on bare metal. And after 10 minutes in Ida 64, this scored by far the worst thus far at 76 degrees at 18 degrees ambient temperatures. So I do not recommend using no thermal paste at all. It is by far the worst option so far. So the next contender we have here is the much requested toothpaste. This has even got some whitening in there, so it may even make your CPU a bit shinier after a few days usage. And here we had 61 degrees at 18 degrees ambient temperatures there. So again, coming in a tie with the mayonnaise and the chicken there. So the toothpaste didn't do bad as well. However, I must admit with the toothpaste, it did let, let off a pretty good smell after I pulled the heatsink fan off. So coming in last now for my fellow Aussies down under is the Vegemite. This is just putting a dab of this on the CPU there. And we managed to score 61 degrees at 18 degrees ambient temperatures there. So the Vegemite again tied with all the others except tomato sauce. However, let's find out the last test here and that is the MX4. So now our trusty Arctic MX4. This is renowned around the internet as being some of the best thermal paste you can get. Now trying this after about 10 minutes, uh, Ida 64 at 100% load, we got 58 degrees at 18 degrees ambient temperatures here. And now contrasting this and just pulling up a shot there of all the contenders for you guys, we can see that the MX4 beat the tomato sauce by one degree. Now tomato sauce did very impressive. It beat all the others by around about two degrees. So if something is to come out of all these benchmarks, then it is that you should have at least something in between that CPU and the CPU cooler. Personally, if you've ran out of thermal paste and you're waiting in the mail to get some, then I'd personally recommend using a bit of baby oil in the time being, as that will not risk shorting anything out on your motherboard. And, you know, it'll do a decent job of cooling as we saw with the fried chicken there, which even had some food thrown in. So anyway guys, that's about it for me today. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you guys in another tech video very soon. And also don't forget to check me out on Twitter and subscribe if you haven't already for more juicy tech news and reviews and gaming and all that goodness. Peace out for now. Bye.